Bogol finally faced his father by meeting him at his father's house. Thanks to Makha meeting him after his research, Bogol will change his plan. He will only make his father angry so he will hit him. By that moment, he will have evidence of his father's domestic abuse against his son. That's why his face looks a mess. Bogol is trying to sacrifice himself to protect everyone. Looking at his face, Makha will treat his injury. At that moment, Bogol will ask about Makha's feelings after she can live without her abusive father. Seeing the injury on Bogol's face, Wuhak knows that he can't remain seated. Wuhak will investigate the case about Dewoon. Since he knows the building that Dewoon visited before his accident, it is the place where Bong Wan is working. Wuhak knows about it because he followed his father from home until his workplace last time. So he will tell the police about finding evidence from other people's car dashcams. Since Bong Wan works as security there, he must turn off the CCTV when he is the one who did that. To change the direction of the investigation from him, Bong Wan decided to give evidence to the police, believing the police don't have evidence for what he has done to Dewoon. However, without him knowing it, as suggested by Wuhok, the police will obtain evidence for Dewoon's accident. Later, the police will also inform Wuhok about what they found out. Bong Wan is captured in the dashcam, attempting to put the hornet on Dewoon's car. With the domestic abuse in Dewoon's case, Hoping Bong Wan will get arrested so Bo Gol and Wu Hak can have a peaceful life. Meanwhile, after finding where her mom is and meeting Mak Ha, Ran Ju decided to terminate her contract with So Jun. However, she will change her mind later on as she remembers what her mother told her when she brought her mother back to the nursing home. Since So Jun is busy, she will postpone her meeting with So Jun to another time and decide to meet Mak Ha to hear her explanation. Although she knows that Mak Ha must have her reasons, Ran Ju is afraid that she will become a pushover. After hearing Mak Ha's explanation, she will give Mak Ha another chance. Especially since Mak Ha has decided to become RJ Entertainment Artist with a contract condition to help sell Ran Ju's album. Even though later on Bogol will also ask her to give Mak Ha another chance after hearing their conversation. To help Mak Ha perform in front of the RJ Entertainment investors next month, Ran Ju suggests that Mak Ha write her own song to impress the investors. This also paves the way for them to support Ran Ju if she manages to acquire half of RJ Entertainment shares. Mak Ha singing in front of them also showcases Ran Ju's ability to nurture and produce talented artists like Mak Ha. At first, Mak Ha is eager to create her own song, although in the end, she encounters some difficulties. However, she remains determined and doesn't give up. Furthermore, Bogol is by her side to help her. It seems Bogol will also suggest that she listen to a lot of songs so she can find inspiration and determine the type of song she wants to write. After completing the song, Mak Ha, guided by Ran Ju, will record it. Armed with the finished track, she will then showcase her talent and the song in front of the RJ Entertainment investors, aiming to leave a lasting impression. I'm eagerly anticipating the next episode to witness Makha's journey as she pursues her dream as a singer, set to air next Saturday. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.